Welcome to another video from the Voyager Middle School Steam Lab. In this video, I'm going to take an image that I've already traced uh, for, for my laser, and instead of using it for laser this time, I'm going to offset this twice to make two thicknesses that I can then extrude to use for my, for my uh, cookie cutter in SolidWorks. So how do I make this a little bit bigger? So the first thing I need to do is I'm, I'm zooming in by holding control here and scrolling on the mouse. I need to look at my lines. So you can see that there's a little, there's a couple of little spots that are sticking out here. You can see that if I select the whole thing with the select tool, you can see that I have 3,000 nodes. If I do Control L on the keyboard, it will simplify a little bit, and I'll get down to only 376 nodes. That's going to be a little bit better. I can make modifications. I can select the parts that I don't want anymore. I can press Delete. I can even do something as simple as get rid of all the lines except for the one main outline. See all these little dots here? If I don't want all those, it's pretty easy to fix. What I do is I select the whole thing, and I choose Path, and I choose Break Apart. And we'll break it apart into all the separate pieces. So then if I only want to keep the big piece, I'm going to Shift-click the big piece. So now the big piece is not selected, but all these little pieces are, so I can just press Delete. So now I just have the big main outline of the spider. Um, you can see it still crosses over on itself a few places. That might cause you trouble when once you get into SolidWorks. You might want to go through and fix, or you might choose a different image that's a little less spiky. That might help you out a little bit. Okay, so we're not going to get too in the weeds there, but I had this image. The first thing I want to do is I want to be able to see the lines of the image and not just the filled in black. So when I select it, you can see the fill is set to black. If I click on the red X, it'll set the fill to none. But now I can't see it, but it's still there because right now the stroke, which are the lines, is not set. So I can set the stroke to a different color by holding shift. It says shift click to set stroke when I hover over a color. So if I shift click, I will see the lines. So this helps me because now I can see on the inside. If I don't do this, then I can actually cover up what's going on pretty easily. I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to duplicate this line because I need another line. So I'm going to right click and choose duplicate or I can go to edit and choose duplicate or control D on the keyboard. So now I've got two bright fuchsia lines right on top of each other. Well, I'm going to leave them right on top of each other, but I'm going to take the one that I have selected, which is the new one, and I'm going to outset it. I'm going to move it outwards. See how it got bigger? Let me change the color of it. You can tell that green line is now outset from the other line. And I can choose outset multiple times depending on how, how I want my thickness to go. And you can see sometimes it's creating little loops here. I can always double click to edit those and delete those loops. Or I can do that same break apart and delete the inside trick that I did before. Okay. Um, so I could clean this up or I could do the quicker trick and just do break apart. You can see there's only one left there and then shift click the green line. So it's not selected. Press delete to get rid of the little bits. All right, so now the reason I set it to no fill is because if I didn't, if it was set to blue fill, you can see I can't even see the pink line because it's covered up. I could rearrange my layers here so I can see the line, or I could just set it to no fill because I'm really concerned about the lines. If I'm going to make this a cookie cutter, this thickness right here would be the thickness of the part that I would extrude to cut the cookie. But I also need a handle that sticks out, so I'm going to select this green line. You can see it's selected. I'm going to duplicate again, and this time I'm going to outset. And this time I'm going to just push control, close parentheses a couple times on the keyboard until it's outset the, how much I want. Now, it can be hard to tell where this is, but if I sh change the color, you can kind of tell. So you can see there's a couple of little dots again. Let's do it again. Break apart, shift click, delete on the keyboard, get rid of those little islands. Okay, so now this is ready to go. I could take this and I could put this in the laser if I wanted to laser cut this for some reason. But what I want to do is I want to extrude these parts, so I'm going to put it into SolidWorks. So just like always, when you're working in Inkscape, you want to save it as an SVG so you can edit it later. So it's already saved as an SVG. I can hit save or save as, and I can ch change this to say this is my cookie cutter. Save as an SVG. That way I can edit it later. But if I want to take it into SolidWorks, I'm going to have to choose Save As, and I'm going to have to choose DXF. When I choose DXF, you want to make sure that the unit that you're exporting as, when you import into SolidWorks, you need to use the same unit. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, watch my other video to figure out how to do the tracing, or watch my other video to figure out how to take this into SolidWorks and extrude those parts to make it 3D.